Welcome to the under 14 boys grand final between Revelers and Maypole. One. We're just about to see the commencing tip off to start this first half. Mm. Terence McGlooch and Duncan Watt. It's one by Revelers team. It's Ricky Ring to Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt driving. Pass off, off hands, could be Maypole's ball. He's got Malinkin to bring the ball up. No. Justin Revel. Shane Thompson. Scott Minikin. Shane, Shane Thompson. Thompson outside shot. No. It's Reveler's ball. Well, a slow start to this under 14 grand final, Rick. Yeah, I suppose it's probably seems slow because of the great atmosphere of the previous game. Should 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 be should be a very close game. Shane yes. Thompson. That's Todd Hunt. Jersey. Shane Thompson shot. It's off. Fair ball. Kept in. No, he put, put his foot over the, the line. line. Terence McCulloch. Long pass. Rebounded by Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt bringing the ball down for Revelers. Kevin Smith, back to Todd Hunt. Kevin Smith again. Sean Stevenson. Todd Hunt, Revelers looking for the openings. Hunt. Trying to work it inside the key, there it is. Lost it. I think that'll be off Rev. Oh, thought that was off that um, Terence McCulloch's hands of Revelers then. Anyway, it's Revelers ball and it's Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt looking for an opening. Nowhere to go. Kevin Smith. Working around, looking for the big fellas. Sean Stevenson. Off hands again. The green ball. Well, Revel is certainly finding it hard to penetrate them. Maypole's defence so far. Well, I'd say they're bigger side, aren't they? Yeah. Rebounded well there by Terence McCulloch. Another nice rebound by Ricky Ring. He chopped side ball. Well, that was a good rebound then by Ricky yeah. Ring of Revelers. It's unfortunate not to get three shots. It's Todd Hunt now. Todd Hunt, Kevin Smith. Don't know what to do with it. There's not many places he can go. No one's really moving in the Reveler side. They're all standing around waiting Todd for the Hunt. ball. Over Terrence the top. McCulloch. Can he get it in this time? That's the first score on the board. Terrence that's McCulloch. the only score, and that's Revelers 2 0. Little number six, Mary. John Osborne. Yeah. Shane Thompson. Off hands, off Revelers' hands. That was off Ricky Ring's hands. Now, Maypole through Justin Revel to Duncan White. Willie Duncan. <laughs> Shane Thompson to Scott Minikin. It's too Travel long. called. Yep. Shane Thompson. Let's now see if they can do something with it this time. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith again, long outside shot from Kevin oh, Smith. Oh, big swish. Nice shot. Nice, nice long outside shot there by Kevin Smith. Gives Revelers a 4 0 lead in the opening minutes of this first half. Nearly lost there by the Maypole team. Justin Revel recovers well. Good pass off back to Justin Rebel. It's foul on Ricky Ring. Not happy with that. No, well, I think he thought he had his hand on the ball, but I think his arm was on the other, on um, Justin Rebel's arm as well. Just about crushed him. In any case, that was good teamwork by the two Maypole players then. A nice little yeah. one-two. He's holding in three shots. Little guard. Justin Rebel, second shot. Puts it up. It's off. 
Last one, ball being played off the ring. Justin Revel gets the third. And that's Maypole's first point on the board. They trail by three points. It's now Todd Hunt for Everless, bringing the ball down very quickly. Todd Hunt nearly Outside lost it. Shot. Long shot. Ooh, just missed. Jump ball. Scott Malinkin and Terence McCulloch. The ref's about to throw it up. The referees presiding over this game are Michael Mundy and Brendan Woolley. It's Kevin Smith. Todd Hunt. Outside shot. Oh, nice shot from Todd Hunt. That was from the very top of the key. Crowd not getting into it at this stage. No, I think they've used up all their energy on the last game. Yeah. Terence Regained Terrence. by Paul yeah. Sawyer. To Maypole. Ricky Ring now. Oh. Kevin Smith to Ricky Ring. Back to Kevin Smith, down to Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt trying to find an opening, it's fouled. And he'll have three shots. Crowd not happy with that. Well, there's good play from little Todd Hunt. Little Todd Hunt, he drive along the baseline, drawing the foul. First shot's good. <laughs> Rolls around the ring. Bounces up and down, rolls around and finally goes in. Up and down like a fiddle with his elbow. And that gives I don't know. Revelers an 8 1 lead. With 14 17 remaining on the clock. It's now Maypole. Through Shane Thompson. That's Duncan Wyatt. To Scott Minikin. Shane Thompson. Duncan Wyatt again. Dean Rose. Bad pass. Was going to shoot, but there was too many hands in the way, so he had to throw the ball off. Consequently, it ended up as a bad pass, and Ravelis came away with the ball. Todd Hunt. Looking for his big teammates. It's Kevin Lost Smith. the other guard. Ricky Ring. Sean Stevenson. Kevin Smith. Can't do anything with again. it. No, they're finding it very difficult to work the ball inside, aren't they? Yeah. Although there's not a real lot of movement from the Revelers side. They seem to stand around and just, you know, wait for the ball. I think on time out, their coach will point that out to them. Yeah, it's Sean Stevenson. Now it's Kevin Smith. A foul's been called on Ricky Ring of Revelers for elbow Side interference. Ball. Time, time out call. call. Well, certainly this game is contrast to the game we've just watched. Yeah. Very slow. It'll liven up that, it should do. Yeah. Well, um, neither team's had any real outstanding players so far. No. no outstanding plays. Todd Hill with four. Terry McCulloch, two. Revelers. And the only score for Kevin Smith with two. And for Maypole, the only Justin score Revel is Justin Revel with one. Yeah. Four. Fouls been called. Two each side. Well, certainly it's a battle of defences at the moment. Yeah. Neither, neither team being able to work the ball in. And therefore, that's why we're seeing a rather slow game at the moment. Anyway, back to the play. That's Maypole through Scott Minikin. Shane Thompson. Outside shot from Shane Thompson. Misses. <laughs> Rebounded by Terence McCulloch. Put it outside. Bounce it on the line. It's now Maypole. 
Shane Thompson. It's Duncan White. Outside shot from Duncan White misses. Rebounded by Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt breaks down the court. Good pass, pass. down to Kevin Smith. Back to Ricky Ring, but that to travel, yes. Couldn't pull up in time. Well, it was a good pass by Todd Hunt. Saw Kevin Smith alone by himself. Scott Milligan goes all the way. Misses. Ricky Ring rebounds well. It's two on one now, Kevin Smith. Oh, misses. Shane Thompson now for the Maypole side. Now the game's starting to get a bit faster. Yes, that timeout did a bit of good. It's picking up now. Yes, I think all the op opening few minutes we might have seen a few nerves as well. So I think once these players overcome their nerves. They'll be right. Substitution. Justin Revel goes off, replaced by number nine, Shane Cody. Cody, yes. It's Dean Rose, outside shot. It's off. Misses, rebounded by Terence McCulloch. It's off to Todd Hunt. Breaks Todd down Hunt. the court again. Kevin Smith was there by himself, but I don't think Todd saw Drives. it. Drives, lovely Steps drive. around three players. Oh. Good rebound, Terence McCulloch for Revelers. Came in from the side, snapped the ball out of there, and put it back up for another two points. And that's 10-1. Now Maple. Shane Thompson, outside shot again. Well, so far in this game, we've seen mainly outside shots. Trump. So far in this game. What's that? It's a jump ball now between Sean Stevenson and Shane Thompson. Referee just asking players to keep still. Stop distracting him, yeah. Up. Tap one by Shane Thompson to Duncan White. To Dean Rose. Oh, sliding everywhere. Shane Thompson now. Better buy a new pair of shoes. Scott Minikin. Good shot. Well, Maypole needed that one because Revelers was slipping away a little bit. Certainly did. Big score up to 3-10. Now Terence McCulloch for Revelers. To Ricky Ring. Shot misses, rebounded by Duncan White. Duncan White, long pass. Down to Shane to Thompson, Hunt. drives through the key. Good drive. Saw the opening and, and drove well. Shane Thompson for Maypole. And he'll take three shots. First one's there. No. Second shot. It's off. Last one. Good rebound by Terence McCulloch of Revelers again. He certainly dominated the boards, Terence McCulloch and Ricky Ring of Revelers. Yeah, two biggest players on the court at the moment. Yes, and they're having a nice, easy job in the rebounding department so far. Here's a go for Maypole, Dean Rose, pulled up well, unlucky to miss the shot. Ricky Ring. Good fighting by Ricky Ring and Dean Rose then. Try and gain possession for their respective teams. Jump ball. Ricky Ring, Ring wins it. Scott Minikin. Good bit of dribbling there, kept it inside the halfway line. Yeah. Duncan White, outside shot, misses. Air ball. Scott Minikin. Oh, good hand, good job. Good jump. work by Dean Rose of Maypole. Judged the ball well, knew yep. that the shot was was too long. Foul being called on Shane Thompson. Pushing. Standing in front of his opponent. No. He's just coming down the court, still moving. It's Todd Hunt now. That was caught on Todd Hunt. Oh, travel. travel. Walkies. Dean Rose didn't know whether to turn and dribble himself or pass it off to the person running by, which was Duncan White. And Duncan White wasn't quite expecting the ball, and therefore he travelled. It's Kevin Smith now for Revelers. Todd Hunt. Takes it down the baseline. Oh, falls over. Falls over. 
good sidestep then from um, Sean Stevenson, but was unlucky and missed the shot. Shane Thompson now. Another drive through the centre of the key. Oh, good drive. The body foul. That's his second drive through the centre of the key there. So that certainly has paid off for him. This time out's been called by Revelers. So the game's starting to liven up a little bit now. Yeah, we have Revelers Crowd's leading. coming to life and again, you know. I think they've got no more energy after that. <laughs> after that last game, yeah. Well, we have Revelers leading 10 to 5. Yeah. I still think it's um, a battle of the defences, really, because the, on, the only time when they really, both teams really start to score is when they're fast breaking, you know? Yeah. When they're running a lot, but otherwise, if they just bring the ball down and. You think for a young team organized. they'd be moving more, but they seem to be dead. Yeah. Individual scores at the moment Kevin Smith, Revelers, two. Todd Hunt, four. And Terry McCulloch, four. For Maypole, Dean Rose, two. Justin Revel, one, and Scott Minigan, two. Players back on the court now. And Going to the free throw line. Yes, I think that's um, Shane Thompson's second appearance at this. Yep. He's got one at the moment, isn't he? Yep. No. None. Um, Missed all his last three attempts. Let's see if he can do better. That's better. Puts a little smile on his face. <laughs> I think he was happy with that. Oh, straight through. Second. Nice and straight, just, but not yeah. long enough. Just a bit short. Let's see if he can put it in. They definitely need it. No. Rebound. Good rebound, Dean Rose. It's off. And again, well fought, Dean Rose from Maypole. Good shot. By Shane, Tom Shane Thompson. Well, now Maypole have crept back level, nearly level with yep. Revelers. They only trail by two points now after trailing by nine earlier Todd in this Hunt. first half. At Shane Cody. Kevin Smith. Another long outside shot. Oh. Nice shot, Shane Smith. Well, I think he's had two shots from out there and he's hit both of them. Maybe they should give it to him a bit more. <laughs> Not a bad little effort. It's now Maypole, Shane Thompson. Looking to for Duncan the shot. White. At the top of the key. Inside. Good pass. Good pass. Good work. Unlucky. Oh, bounced out. Rebounded by Terry Terrence McCulloch. McCulloch. It's now Todd Hunt. Showing a bit of ribbing skills there. Passes down to Kevin Smith. Nowhere to go. Sean Stevenson. Shot from Sean Stevenson's good. Well, now the game's starting to liven up a bit. And Revelers lead 14-8. Shane Thompson now for Maypole. Oh, good shot, nice Shane shot. Thompson. Good shot. Well, both teams certainly like to take their outside shots, don't they? They're getting more in than what the last game was. <laughs> a lot of long shots in the last game. It's now Todd Hunt for Revelers. It's Terence McCulley. Good move. Unlucky. Well, well followed, well backed up by Terence McCulloch. Went in after his own shot. Rebounded by Duncan Watt. Now Shane Thompson driving through the key again. Pass off to Dean Rose. It's too long. Another Terry good McCulloch. rebound, Terence McCulloch. Well, I'd like the statistics on um, Terence McCulloch's rebounding. He's certainly taken a lot, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been about five, I reckon. Five strong. Five each end, yeah, I think, yeah. Certainly rebounded well for the Revelers side. It's Todd Hunt now. Up the top to Sean Stevenson. Misses. It's Ricky Ring now. Ricky Ring and Dean Rose. Yeah, so that's another player who's played well so far in the game. That's yeah. Dean Rose of Maypole. He's played well. Yeah. Good rebounding. Ricky Ring, Dean Rose. Won by Ricky Ring. Terence McCulloch. Ricky Ring drives. That. Todd Hunt, outside shot. Oh, oh, big air ball. Long. Pushed by 10. Yeah, so that was a push in the back from Scott Minnick and he pushed Terence McCulloch in the back. Let's wrap this ball on the side. Todd Hunt. Sean Stevenson. 
Terence McCulloch back to Sean Stevenson. Todd Screen Hunt. was there, but he didn't shoot. <laughs> now it's a long 30-footer. Rebounded by Dean Rose. Nice pass to Sean Thompson. Good time. Good, good, good play. Time. It was a good pass from Dean Rose to set up Sean Thompson for his seventh point. Nice little left-handed layup, that. Yeah. Todd Hunt. Well, Dean Rose travelled, moved his pivot foot, skidded it along the ground. He's having trouble with his shoes. I'd... That Dean Rose, yeah. Yeah, yeah he slid over a few times. That'll Stepped be a body him. foul on Dean Rose. Hands foul, actually. Todd Hunt will go to the line. I think he should ask his mum to invest in a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Hunt shooting three. First one's unsuccessful. Well, we see um, Rebel is leading 14-12 with 4.25 remaining. And certainly um, Maypole have put up a good effort to get back into the game after trailing 10-1 in the early stages of this first half. Yeah. 4.25 remaining. Oh, push in the back from Terence McCulloch. Maypole's ball. Scott Minikin passes it into Shane Cody for Maypole. Shane Cody shoots. Foul's been called. A little bit of hands, I think, yeah. Yes, yeah, and Shane Cody will go to the line for three shots. Came around the front of him with the hand trying to put him off, I think. First shot, so too short. Second. It's better. Not bad. That Pulls Maypole with him one point of Revels now. Yeah. Off Ricky Ring. Yes. Now Duncan White outside shot. Good shot, Duncan White. That's put Maypole in the lead for the first time in the game. They lead 15 to 14. Todd Hunt now for the Revel side. Good Long screen set there by shot. Shane Stevenson. Ricky Ring, good rebound, turns around and it's fouled. Good play from Ricky Ring. Rebounded the ball and... Foul's been caught at number eight. Straight away turned around and put the shot up and drew the foul. Duncan Watt. Ricky Ring goes the line for three. First one misses. The first one um, did go in, I think. Ah, did it? Sorry. Second one. All right. Scores are tied at 15 all. Last shot now. Misses. Good rebound, Todd Hunt. Fights again oh, for the ball's fouled. Oh, nearly. <laughs> It's good fighting by Todd Hunt. It's one of the smallest players on the court and yet still managed to rebound the ball and put up a shot and rebound it again and have another shot. Yeah. Tied the hook shot. Yeah. Well, I think if he had have um, shot the ball any other way, it would have been. Wouldn't have been successful, I don't think. That was caught on Scott Minigan. It's Todd Hunt with two shots. Nope. Well, he's missing valuable points for the Reveler side. Oh, good rebound again by um, Terence McCulloch. Doesn't have nowhere to go. It's Kevin Smith. Long Another shot. Another outside Looks good. shot. Oh. Oh. Rebounded by um, that's Shane Cody, Maple side. Now we see Maypole in offence. It's Duncan White. White. To Shane Minikin. Drives inside. Good play. Foul's been count. called on Terence McCulloch. Nice drive down the baseline then by Scott Minikin. Yep, stepped underneath the ring. Point scored. Go to the line for the bonus. I think the, um, 
scored points, didn't he, as well? So we'll have one shot, yeah. 2.56 remaining, 17.15. Yeah, so that two points certainly proves proves handy Stop. for the Maypole side because they lead by two points. Rebounded by... It's now Todd Hunt Terrence for Revelers. Todd Hunt. Terence McCulloch looking to drive. Has no, no, one to no one to give it to. Well, none of the Revelers players were moving to the ball then, so you can't really blame Terence McCulloch for that. So black. Seven's jumping, I think. Jump ball. It's Todd Hunt. Prominent little player. Yes, he certainly played well so far in this game, hasn't he? Yeah. Sean Stevenson. Kevin Smith. One of the hardest working members of the team, I would say. Sean Stevenson, outside shot. Rebounded by Duncan White. Long pass down to... Um, Duncan White drives. It's off the corner of the backboard. Another shot. Scott Minikin. Top. Misses. Kept in by Shane Cady. Oh. The ball was... It was off um, Dean Rose's head. Yeah, it was, it was flicked back into Dean Rose's head. I think he's playing soccer. It's Todd Hunt now for Revelers. He's got good ball skills, Todd Hunt. Oh. Underneath the ring. Nearly. Oh, he's got it again. And he's fouled. It's been oh. the fourth time he's been to the line. <laughs> he's a guard, too. That was the third foul on Dean Rose of Maypole. Yes. Crowd not getting into it at the moment. 118 to go. 17 15. First one successful. This is um, Todd Hunt's third appearance at the free throw line this half. Second one's good. And that's better. Scores level now, 17 apiece. Well, we could see another close match. Clo close match again. Although there's not the atmosphere in this one. It's still evenly contested. Well, a foul on Kevin Smith as Duncan White was shooting and Duncan White ended up sinking the points. So I'll have a bonus shot. Substitution of Maypole. 18 fouls on the Revelers team and three personal fouls on Kevin Smith. Justin Revel comes in for Dean Rose. Dean Rose played a very good game. So I think that was a wise move by the Maypole coach then because um, Dean Rose has played well in this first half and as there's only a minute to go, give him a rest. And yeah. Plus, he's on three fouls, so... Give him a good run in the second half, I would yeah. say. Bonus. Bounces around. Yes, good rebound by Ricky Ring to Todd Hunt. Crosses over from one side of the court to the other. To Terence McCulloch. Turns around. Can't find anywhere to go. Shot. Shoots. Good shot. Very flat. Well, he, in. he was looking for the drive, but he couldn't find anywhere to go, so he just turned around and lobbed it in. Duncan White. Shane Cody. Good, Good shot. shot, Shane Cody. Good shot by Shane Cody. Shot it while he was on the move. Used the backboard well. That gives Maypole a two-point lead. 21-19, they lead. It's Ricky just, Ring. Just over 20 seconds remaining. Todd Hunt. Oh, nice shot. Well, we could see um, a tied game going into halftime, yeah. I think. 14 seconds. Oh, oh nearly. Nearly got in. 10 oh, seconds go. and a fast break. Good Sean two points. Sean Stevenson, yeah. By good, Sean good Stevenson. Good play from Terence McCulloch to realise that Sean Stevenson was down there. Oh, Thompson nearly puts another one in. Break the bank ball. <laughs> Half time. Half time we see 21, the, the Revelers side lead. 23-21. Well, at half-time, have the individual scores for Revelers. 
Kevin Smith with four. Todd Hunt with eight. Steve, Sean Stevenson, four. Ricky Ring, one. Terry McCulloch, six. And for Maypole, one. Dean Rose, two. Justin Revel, one. Cha Sean Thompson, seven. Duncan White, four. Shane Cody, three. Scott Minigan, four. That's all. And now we'll cross live to the second half. Uh -huh. Well, welcome back to the second half. Yep, second this half. under 14 grand final between Revelers and Maypole. We see Revelers leading by two points, 23 to 21. And I was doing the opening. We have jump ball. Start the second half. Jump ball. Won by Revelers. Maypole stolen. Duncan White, Dean Rose. This is a shot by um. Rebounded by Terence McCulloch. Gary Hunt. Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt. <laughs> Keep on getting them all confused. Kevin Smith looking for his outside shot again. Misses. Good Thank rebound you. by um. Duncan White. Now Scott Minikin drives through the key. Good, Good drive. Good nice little sidestep there. Yes, well, um, it was Tied a very hand. good move. Our statistician having a bit of problems in the background. Sean Stevenson now to Kevin Smith. Todd Hunt, long, long outside chuck. Off his foot. He's got a touch of the fumbles. Be revelous from the side. Sean Stevenson. Passing. Terence McCulloch. Back to Kevin Smith. Oh, bit of push in there with his arm. And lucky not to get pulled up for it. Smith. Todd Hunt. Work it around. Take it down to the baseline. Now Terence McCulloch drives well, rebounds again. Unlucky. Well, he Scott fought Minigan. hard, Terence McCulloch, but just couldn't capitalise. Duncan White, good two points, good drive. Little handoff, well, got so, the points. So far, Maypole have come out in this second half, very determined, and they've taken a lead back off Revelers. Leading by two points, Maypole. Kevin Smith outside shot. It's off. Misses. Dean good Rose, good rebound. He tapped it over so as he could grab good it again. Good pass by was Dean good Rose. Play. Unlucky. Oh, unlucky. Ricky Ring went, took a walk. Doesn't like it. Oh, a bit temperamental. Now Duncan White. Take a walk to Mayfair. Not pass go. <laughs> To not collect Duncan the ball. Wide again. It's Dean Rose. Oh, long outside shot. Rebounded by. Would have been a good pass. Terence McCulloch, and I think the foul's on. On Scott Minikin. That's his third foul. Now, Sean Stevenson for the Reveler side. Bring it up. Kevin Smith, Ricky Ring, good rebound, Terence McCulloch. Well, he rebounds well, ball well, Terence McCulloch, but he can't seem to get the ball into the ring. Ricky Ring, Dean Rose, regains for Maypole. Duncan White, over the Shane Thompson, <laughs> Scott Minikin, drives through, oh, nice drive good. again. That's better, a bit of life in a crowd. Yes. Maybe we'll get these young players a bit of a boost, make yeah. them try harder. Maypole now lead by four points. I thought that would have been a trip. That Terence McCulloch just can't get the ball into the ring. Dean Rose. Travel. Oh. Tried to stop too quick. I definitely think he should have some new shoes. <laughs> Sean 
Shane Gowing. Sean again. Stevenson again. Foul by Paul Lockett. Lukock. No, I think it's a foul on um, 10. Yeah, that's a foul on Scott Minikin. That's Scott Minikin's fourth foul. So he'll have to be very, very careful now. Todd Hunt driving along the baseline. Side ball. It's a foul on Shane Thompson. That's his second foul. Todd Hunt. Shot. Oh, good nice shot, shot, Todd Hunt. Oh. Duncan White to Dean Rose. Maypole lead 27-25. Shane Thompson, outside shot. Duncan White again. Scott Minikin. Pushing on number seven, Shane Thompson. Be reveless ball from the side. It's his third foul. Kevin Smith back to Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt. Exceptionally good player. Terence McCulloch looking to drive again. Can't find anywhere to go. Rebounded by Duncan White. Shane Thompson with a fast break now. That's better. Good way up. He missed the last one like that. It's a good pass from Duncan White then. Yeah. Scores 29-25. Easy layup. Now Todd Hunt. Oh, oh running into his, his own player. player. Lucky not to be called travel. Now Sean Stevenson to Ricky Ring. Turns, shoots. Three seconds called on number 12. Terence McCulloch. He's Scott Minigan over to Dean Rose. Scott Minigan, long shot. Good two points. Took a bit of time. Good play by Maypole, eh? Todd Hunt. Bring the ball down for Revelers. Top of the key. Over to Malcolm to Jersey. Long shot. Rebounded. Rebounding foul. Pushing on number 10. If that's number 10, that's his fifth foul. Paul Lukock. And just as he was starting to... um come into the game he just scored six points in this second half yeah in only seven minutes and he was it's being congratulated by you giving maypole a bit of a lead on the boards but now that he's fouled off it's going to be a terrible blow for the maypole Time side being called by revelers substitution black well scott minican leaves the game with 10 points wasn't doing a bad job out there too. Yes, well he was one of the major um, rebounders for the Maypole side, so yeah. they lose a lot more strength on the boards. 13, 26 remaining. Scores 31, 25. Individual scores. Revelers, Kevin Smith two. Todd Hunt, Todd Hunt ten. Sean Stevenson four. Ricky Ring one. Terry McCurry six. Maypole one, and Dean Rose two. He's played a good game. Justin yeah. Revel one, Shane Thompson seven, Duncan White six, Shane Cody three, Scott Minikin ten. Five fouls, team fouls on Revelers. The Revelers ball and they're laid back on the court. Oh. Rebounded by Ricky Ring. Dean Rose. Good player. Brings the ball down. Maypole one. Shane Thompson now. Looking for a drive through the key. Holding foul being called on. Todd Kevin Osborne. Smith. That's Kevin Smith's fourth foul. Another foul called. That was on 13. That's Simon Bailey. No, it must have been on 12. Thought the umpire is three fingers up. Yeah. Oh, not to worry. Second shot. 
Duncan White. Soft. Last one. Rebounded by Terence McCulloch. Yes, well, he's certainly done well in the rebounding department, but he's been unable to convert the ball into baskets. Oh. Like here we have. So he gets the ball. Ricky up. Ring. Good shot, Ricky Ring. Strong underneath the boards. But he's doing the same as uh, Terence McCulloch. He can get him, yeah. but he can't seem to. They can get the rebounds, but they can't seem to convert the ball in. I think they should con concentrate a bit more. That's Justin Revel. Oh. oh. Charging foul on Justin Revel. Yep. Todd Hunt. Bringing it down for Revelers. Looking for a shot. There it is. Oh, oh nearly. Terence McCulloch again rebounds. Looking for someone to pass it to. Back to Kevin Smith for an outside shot. That's better. And they close the gap and get two points closer. Long shot, shot by Dean Rose, rebounded by Shane Cody. Good rebound. Oh, Ricky Ring with strength. Good strong. Well, he's certainly a temperamental young lad, isn't he? Sassing a lord up above to help. <laughs> Good shot by Dean Rose. Well, that's what he was doing in the first half. He was playing well in the first half. It's Todd Hunt now. Oh, shot misses. Tapped into the hands of Duncan, Duncan White. White. Breaking away. Shane Thompson. Good touch. Oh. Well, Maypole have opened up a six-point six lead now. They lead 35-29. and They're certainly going on with the job well. Ten minutes left. Sean Stevenson. Into Terence McCulloch. At the top to Kevin Smith. Terence McCulloch wasn't ready for it. The jump ball. Oh, easily won by Revelers. They've lost it. Duncan Wyatt goes it alone. Misses. Rebounded by. Uh, Shane, Shane Thompson, Thompson pushed Shane. Um, Justin Revel over his own player. Ooh. Chips over Todd Hunt. I think they're both all right, though. Foul on Dean Rose. He's played a good game, that's, Dean Rose. Yeah, that's Dean Rose's fourth foul. So there's a few players getting into foul trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Holding called on Ricky Ring. Uh, good decision by the umpire. You've seen that. That's his third foul. So certainly we could see a few players fouled out of this game. We yeah. have one fouled out already. Duncan White. Justin Revel. Shane Cody. Shane Thompson. Duncan White again looking for the drive. To Dean Rose. Justin Revel. Shane Cody an outside shot. Misses. Oh, a good rebound by Duncan Wyatt. Good play by Bell Duncan Wyatt. On Ricky Ring. He had three other people to beat. That'll beat be his fault. Well. Who was the foul called on? Ricky Ring. That's Ricky's fourth foul then, yeah. <laughs> Duncan Wyatt now. First shot's good. That gives Maypole a seven point lead. Second shot. That's good too. Good shooting by Duncan White. Well, he deserved his two points after taking that very good strong rebound. It's now Todd Hunt for Revelers. Driving. Good drive, Todd Hunt. Well, Todd Hunt seems to be the only one that is able to keep Revelers into the game at the moment. 37-31 with eight minutes to go. 
drive by Shane Thompson. Duncan White. Shane Cody, another outside shot. Rebound by Terence McCulloch for Revelers. Doing a good job up that end. At least Off he's to getting Sean it. Stevenson to Todd Hunt. Promising player. Long shot. Todd Hunt again. Ricky uh, Ring, good rebound. Top. That's better from Ricky Ring. Using a bit of brain matter instead of a bit of brawn. Yes. Now Revelers trial by four points. Duncan White, bad pass. Lucky to get away with it. Justin Revel driving through the centre of the key. It's lost well, it. Maypole have driven a lot through the top of the key. I'm just wondering whether their Revelers are a bit susceptible in that area. Could be, could be. Got that one out of the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> Stop confusing me with big words. It's Todd Hunt now. Kevin Smith. Not after last night. Good, good, good oh. drive in by um, Terence McCulloch, but again he can't Ricky seem Ring. to convert it. Lay up for Ricky Ring, and it's in, and he'll have another shot. That's better from Ricky Ring. Now he's starting to play a lot better than what he has been through the game. Terence McCulloch still, still, I'd, I'd say would be the leading rebound and playing very well, but he just can't seem to convert that ball into the hole. He's only got uh, six. Compared with rebounds. It's eight team fouls on the Maypole side. Ricky Ring's bonus shot. Misses. I didn't think that hit the ring. Anyway, it's Duncan White. Shane Thompson outside shot. Looks Whoa, good. That's good in. Good shot. 39-35. Seven that's, to go. That's a four-point lead now to the Maypole side. It's Todd Hunt again. Looking Taking for another drive along that baseline. You'll get three. Yeah. I'd say he's been the most um, predominant player out of the Revelers side. Little Todd Hunt. Yes, with um, Terence yeah, McCulloch playing a good game on the rebounding side. First shot successful from Todd Hunt. That was called on Justin Revel. Second shot from Todd Hunt's good again. It's good shooting from Todd Hunt. Gets his side back within two points of Maypole. They'll try, they try all 39, 37. Duncan White. There's Go another away. drive. Unlucky Misses Duncan rebounds White rebounds. rebounds. Shot well. Oh, travel. travel. Sean Stevenson now for the Reveler side. Umpire getting in the way there. Yeah, Todd Hunt. Looking for someone to pass the ball to. It's down Cross to Terence McCulley. Can he put it in? No. He took too, too slow. Yes, yeah, he, he took too long with the ball then. And, um, he looked like he was going to turn and yeah. have a shot. And but I, he think, I think Ricky Ring was um, counting on that shot that didn't eventuate, and therefore he was called for seconds. Shane Thompson now. Shane Thompson. Justin Revel inside to Dean Rose, loses it. It's Kevin Smith. Now Todd Hunt for the Revel aside, bringing the ball up. He's got good, good skills, Todd Hunt. It's Kevin Smith. Outside shot. shot. Oh. Here we go, Terence McCulloch. Yes. Hey, he got one. <laughs> well done, Terence McCulloch. Well, they say persistence pays off. Yeah, scores go level again. Dean Rose. Shane Thompson now. Dean Rose. Well, Dean Rose has gone quiet this yeah. second half after playing good first half. Shane Thompson. He's played consistently for the Maypole side. Off Ricky Ring's hands. Justin Rebel. Yeah. Duncan White looking for the baseline drive. Bit of a rebel player, that one. Justin Rebel. Shane Thompson now. Thought about the shot. Rebel. Inside, inside. good pass inside to Duncan White. Rebounded by Ricky Ring. Todd Hunt breaks away for Revelers Big now. Pass. Good Kevin pass. Smith pulls up and shoots. 
Well, that's put Revelers back in the lead after it looked like Maypole were going to run away with the game. Yeah. Revelers lead by two points now, 41-39 with four minutes, four and a half minutes remaining. Dean remote. Rose, long Dean shot. Rose. It's off the ring. Short. Rebounded by Revelers. Sean Stevenson. Good hands by Dean Rose, unlucky not to get the ball. It's picked up by Terence McCulloch and given to Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt now. Kevin Smith into Sean Stevenson. Oh. It's a good pass from Kevin Smith to Sean so, Stevenson, but there was an infringement in the key. Timeout called Black. Maybe. Well, with four minutes and 15 remaining, we see Revels leading 41 39. And um, just the major scorers so far, we have Todd Hunt with 14. And for the Maypole side, their leading scorer is... Actually, they've got two equal leading scorers on 10 points. They are Shane Thompson and Scott Minikin. Yes. Well, I think um, we could be in for another close finish again. Yeah, I think the under-18s like will be disappointed if it goes to <laughs> five-minute overtime. Yeah. <laughs> Extra time. Yes, I think they've been waiting around all day, waiting for yeah. their game. And last game on the... on the... um. Itinerary or whatever. Yep. Agenda. Large crowd here today watching. Yeah, this is a good. Down to 16s. Good, good turn up of people to encourage their sons or just their friends. We have Watch the young ball. athletes of Tasmania show them their stuff. <laughs> Shane Thompson now for the Maple side. That's Shane Cody. Duncan White, Duncan long White, shot. Outside shot. That's good, good shot. shot. Nobody on him, so he went back at a shot. That ties up scores, 41 all. Now it's little Todd Hunt again. He Dries. likes that little baseline drive there. Good drive, unlucky miss. Ricky Ring, that's better. Oh, unlucky Terrence Ricky McCulley Ring. comes over the top of Nelly rebounds her. Dean Rose. Dean Rose breaking away Fast from Maypole. Break. Shane Thompson. Oh, oh, unlucky. Shane Cody, good rebound. Ricky Ring grabbed the ball, forces the jump ball. Now Starting Ricky to Ring. get exciting. Fun by Ricky Ring. Terence McCulloch. Bit Pass slow, but Terence McCulloch gave the other team the other time enough to figure out what he was going to do. Yeah. Duncan White, Shane Thompson drives, holding foul, pushing foul on um, Terence McCulloch. That's his second foul. It's his third foul. Shane Thompson. Cody. Good shot. Oh, I thought that was Rebounded in. Rebounded by Ricky Ring. Thought that ball was going to go in. Yeah, in and out. Like a fiddler's elbow. Todd. Oh. Jump ball. Good jump by Duncan White against the big, his big yeah, opponent. against Terence McCulloch. Now jump ball. That umpire just waiting for players to settle themselves down. Kevin Smith to Todd Hunt now. Todd Hunt. Todd Hunt drives again. Pushing being called on. Uh, it's pushing foul on. Shane Thompson. Shane Thompson. He's very disappointed by the looks of it. That's his fourth team, fourth, fourth person foul. Todd Hunt will have, I think it's three for two. First one successful. No, it's only two shots. This is his last shot. Revelers lead 42-41, make that 43-41. As Todd Hunt puts in his 16th point of the game. So he's played a very fine game, Todd Hunt. Shane Thompson, another good player. Dean Rose. Played consistently for Maypole. Justin Revel, good pass inside then to Duncan White. 
before calls before the shot. It's a good pass then from Justin Revel in yeah. inside uh, Duncan White. Kevin Smith leaves the game with five fouls and eight points. Justin Dunk. Just Dean Rose. Unlucky that um, John Osborne, his first appearance on the court. Todd Hunt know. now looking for another drive again. Yeah, oh, he loves them drives. Yeah. Ricky Ring. Ricky Ring. Another Couldn't good jump by Ricky Ring. Let's see if he can get it this time. Huh? Unlucky. Well, both those tall players for Revelers have had trouble in this game getting the ball in the ring. They've rebounded on numerous occasions but just haven't been able to convert it. Yeah. Well, Taken off before he puts the ball down. I couldn't, so I, I couldn't quite tell you that travel. I think it was, I think Michael Mundy was due to call a travel call so I think he just pulled one out. Yeah. Keep the crowd happy. It's now Todd Hunt. Revels leading 43-41 with only just over a minute to go. That'll be two shots for Sean Steams, and I think that's I think that Dean Rose's fifth foul, and he leaves the game with four points. So well, five we've got, fouls. We've got three players now that have left the game on five fouls. Yeah. And it's Malcolm De Jersey to come in for the first time in this game. Sean Stevenson go to the line for two shots. Sean 18 Stevenson. foul situation. First one unsuccessful. Second shot and last shot. This could make it interesting if Revelers score here. To put them four, it could put them four points in front. Yeah. It'll make the work job a lot harder for the Maypole side. Three ones on the scoreboard. Score. One minute 11 to go. 43-41. Terence McCulloch. Unlucky. Well, he's played well today, Terence McCulloch. Last shot. Re Rebound Ricky, by Ricky Ring, Ring again. Back Terrence out to Terence McCulloch. Now Shane Cody. Shane Thompson, Justin Rebel, good pass, oh, intercepted by unlucky. Ring. It was unlucky to be intercepted, the idea was there, it's Todd Hunt now, good bit of dribbling, he likes that fast break, the down the Todd baseline Hunt. there, no, no opening, Terence McCulloch. I think Revelers are just holding the ball. They know they've got it one if they can just hold the ball. They lead by two points, 43-41 with 20 seconds remaining. The crowd's starting to come to life now. Starting to cheer and yell. Yeah, yeah they're this, going to... This is the most atmosphere there's been all game so far. Nine, four seconds to go. The crowd started the countdown. And the points go out. And he scored it. And it counts. What a shot. What an Great big ping on the Zorans. Oh, unreal shot from Todd Hunt. Well, I like that. Oh, well. What a way to finish the game. We see Rufflers running out winners 45 to yeah, 41. Rufflers won. Well, we'll just give you the final score as for the under 14 grand final which was won by Revelers 45-41 the top scorers for Revelers we have Kevin Smith with 8 John Osborne no Todd Hunt with 18 sorry Sean Stevenson 4 Ricky Ring 7 and Terry McCulloch 8 while for Maypole 1 we have Dean Rose 4 Justin Rebel 1 Shane Thompson 11 Duncan Moore 10 Shane Cody 3 and Scott Minninger 10 we'll be back shortly with the under 18 grand final between Revelers and Dominoes well, welcome to the last event.